Alright, welcome to the third episode of our JavaScript Beginner to Advanced Edition. And this lesson, we will discuss string concatenation and template literals. Okay, so go on tayo ng bagong folder dito. And let's just name this as string concat uh, template literals. And inside this folder, go on tayo ng dawang files natin. The first one is our index.html. And again, our second file is our main.js. Okay? Alright, so let's go back to index.html. Gawa lang tayo ng blank HTML structure. So, pang tuition key, plus tab key yung keyboard. And I'm just gonna name this as string concatenation and template laterals. Okay? So, gawa lang tayo ng h1 dito. Lagay lang natin to at least may text tayo sa browser. And again, we will link our main.js by using the script tags. Okay. Just put our main.js here. Alright, so let's go now to our main.js. I'm just gonna use the let keyword here to declare my variables. So let. And I'm just going to make it uh, str1, str2, str3, and then rest for result. Okay, so let's just put str1 here equals inoy. Copy ko lang yan. Gawa lang ako ng str2 dito. I'm just going to make it as dev. Okay, and then our str3 equals, it's just going to make this as learn how to code. Oops, lagay na yung space dyan. Alright, so basically string concatenation is just how you join strings together. For example, the rest, oops, rest equals str1 plus str2. Oops, I'll put it in the console. Rest. Okay, let's just gonna preview our index.html to the browser by using the live server. Press F12 to show up the console. Refresh the browser, and we have Pinoy Dev right here. Okay, so na notice niyo, parang di siya masyadong presentable kasi nga wala siyang space. In the middle, so magkadugtong lang siya. In order to fix that, we will just add a double quotes with a space inside. So it can be like this: double quotes and then space and then plus sign again. Press Control S on your keyboard. Now you have a space in between Pinoy and Dev right here in the console. We can also append to a string. So for example, uh, let's just put a comment here: append to a string. Let's say res equals oops pinoy dev. So in order to append to a string, we will use the plus and equal sign. So res plus equals and then the string that you want to append. So let's say for example we will make this div as developer. So I can just add here uh developer something like this. Press Ctrl as new keyboard. Now we have Pino. Oops. Ah, kasi may EV na sa taas. So let's just remove that. Now we have Pinoy developer in the console. Okay. So this sign. Comment lang natin. Use for appending. Alright. So let's move on to our next example. We also have the concat method. So to use that. Oh, magkukomment lang tayo dito. Concat. Oops. So let's say res equals the first string, which is str1 as our example, and then that concat, and then the string that you want to append. So I'm just gonna make a space right here. Okay. And then plus, I will just add our str2. 
Okay, press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now you have Pinoy defaults on the console. So the same result, but now we use the concat method. Now we have joined the second string to the first string. But what if we will add another string? So in order to do that, copy lang natin yan. And we will just add a comma here, just like that. And I will just add a space again. And then plus sign again. And then we will add our str3 here. Oops. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now we have Pinoy Dev. Oops. Why it defined? Oh, this must be str3. Okay. So press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now we have Pinoy Dev. Learn how to code the console. Okay. Alright. So let's try now with escaping. Escaping basically escapes the codes in your text so it can be displayed on the browser. So let's say for example rest equals house your day. Now if you notice my error that I did and called syntax error. So the purpose of escaping is to escape this character in our text. So the first fix is to use a double quotes on the beginning and the end of your text. It's like that. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now you have house your day in the console. Another way of fixing it is by using the escape character by putting it before the quotes or before the quote. Okay, so let's try to return this to single quote like this. Uh, notice new my error. Oops. Notice new my error tidy though. In order to fix this quote right here, we will just need to add a forward slash right here. Okay, ano ba yung forward slash? Ganyan lang. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Oops. Another quotes dito. Press Ctrl S. Now you have how sure did the console. Alright, so let's move on to length. This is just to count how many characters you have on a string. So to use it, comment lang natin muna. Length property. So res equals stair 1 that length. Ganyan lang. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now you have 5 right here. Since Pinoy is 5 character. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So do not be confused with arrays and length. Array starts with 0 while length starts counting at 1. Okay? Now let's move on to uppercase and lowercase. Comment lang natin muna. Okay, so let's just type here res equals str1 dot to uppercase if you want to make uppercase. Okay, press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now Pinoy is in uppercase. So let's try with lowercase res equals. Let's try with str2 dot to lowercase. Okay, press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Oops. I think we'll just put str1 since str1 is uppercase now. Now we have Pinoy right here. Okay, so lowercase na siya. Alright, so what else we have here? We have index of method. Oops. So it returns the position. of the first occurrence of a specified value in a string. Okay, so let's say for example, what is the position of i in uh, string Pinoy? So we can just type res equals str1 dot index of. It's like that. And then we will try to find the position of i here by just putting i in here. Okay. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now we have 1 here. Since i is in position number 1. Okay. So don't be confused of length and index of. Length starts with 1 while index of starts with 0. So 0 is p and 1 is i. That's why we have 1 here. Okay. We can also add a second parameter here. This will just tell us the position to start the search. So let's say for example, copy lang natin yan. Okay. And then instead of str1, I'm just going to use our str3 right here. And we'll just replace this with O. 
and then we will add our second parameter let's just say he will start to search at five press ctrl s on your keyboard now we have seven so why the seven because we want to search the position of o but we want it to search starting at position of five so where's five here zero one two three four five so five is the space h is six and o is seven okay so that's why we have seven here so notice that the second o and the third o is not counted that is because index of will just return the first occurrence let's try with uh let's try with something like an array say for example we will just provide the position and it will return as a character so rest equals str1 it's like that and then open brackets and then you'll just write the position here let's say for example i need the character at position number three press ctrl s on your keyboard now we have o right here okay so it also starts with zero zero is p zero one two three if you want to change this with two of course you will return n here just like the same as an array we'll just comment this one uh, get certain character from a string by binding its index okay so guys baka may mali akong mga spelling sa variables or sa comments doesn't matter not a good speller anyway right so let's move on to substring method oops so substring this will just extracts the character from a string between two specified indices okay extracts specified characters from a string between two specified indices okay so let's say for example rest equals str1 and then you press that substring here sha so two indices diba so the first index we will try with zero and then the third one we will try with uh, let's try with three press ctrl s on your keyboard now we have pen in the console so why pen only it starts with zero which is the p and then it ends on three which is supposed to be o because zero one two three but because substring will not includes the end of the index okay so excluding the end of the index so what is the end it is supposed to be the o but since substring will not include it we will just have pin in our console here okay so that is substring we will try with charat method just make it small caps this will just return a character at a specified index para siyang parehas dito sa ginawa natin sa taas the difference is we use bracket here but in the char out we use a open and close parenthesis okay so this char rest equals str1 dot char at and then the index that we want to return a character press ctrl s on your keyboard now we have o here okay so zero one two three so it also starts with zero okay right so what if we want to get the last character of a string okay so we can just type res equals str1 dot char at and then str1 dot length we will just take its length and then minus one so just like that press ctrl s on your keyboard now we have y since 
Pinoy star one here is Pinoy. What if we will add S here? Press Control S on your keyboard. Now you have S. Okay. So doesn't matter kung anong string mo jan, basta yung last character yung kukunin niya. Okay. We also have split method. This will split a string and returns the extracted characters in a form of an array. So let's just type here splits a string and return the extracted characters into an array. Alright, so now we will try to split our str tree here. Let's try to split based on the spaces. So this one, this one, and this one. So basically, magre-return siya ng learn how to code in a form of an array. Right, so let's try here. Res equals str tree dot split. Okay. And then the character that you want. Let's say space. Press Control S on your keyboard. Now we have an array here of our str tree, which is learn how to code. Okay. We can also add a second parameter. Let's say, for example, res equals, and then our second parameter here is a number three, for example. This means it will just return three extracted characters from the split method. So that means I will just expect learn how and to to be returned so press ctrl s new keyboard now we have learned how and to here okay because we make it three right here if we make it two obviously we will return learn and how only all right all right so what else we have here we have slice method okay so this will extract Parts of a string and returns the extracted parts in a new string. Oops. And the same with substring right here. This will not include the end of the index. Right, so let's try some example rest equals str1 that's slice and then lagay natin dito yung first index na extract natin and then the last index or the second index press control s on your keyboard now we have pino right here okay so it starts with 0 1 2 3 di nakasama yung last index which is 4 if kasama yung 4 dapat may y tayo dito right we can also add negative numbers inside Let's say for example res star one equals a uh, negative two this will take two characters from the right starting at negative one okay comment lang natin starting at okay so press control s on your keyboard now we have o and y right here okay Kasi nga, Pinoy. So, neg negative 1, negative 2. If we'll make it negative 3, of course, we will have Noi. Okay? So, that's how slice works. Let's move on to includes. I think from the word itself, malalaman nyo na kung purpose nito. Okay? This will check if a specified word is in a string okay let's say for example res equals star tree that includes and inside you want to type lagay natin dito yung string na gusto nating hanapin sa star tree so for example let's check hey press control s we have false kasi nga yung star tree natin wala siyang hina words Let's check right here. See, wala siyang hina words. 
learn how to code yung nandun sa SR3 natin. Or if we change it to code, now we have true in our console. Alright? We can also add a second parameter inside. So let's say, for example, code. And then our second parameter, let's say, for example, 5. This means it will start searching at the index of 5. Okay? So press Ctrl S on our keyboard. Now we have true in our console. Check that in. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so dito siya start sa space. Counted yung space. Kasi nga yung code nandun sa huli. Okay? So what if we we'll make it the 15? Can we still have code or true? Press Ctrl S. Now we have false. Okay? Comment lang natin. This will search starting from the specified index. Okay? We also have replace method. So simply lang, this will replace a word and a string by the one you specify. Okay? So let's say for example, res equals str3 dot replace. And then we will replace code with uh, what? Say for example, program. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now instead of learn how to code, we have here learn how to program. All right, so let's move on with template literals. Okay. So gagawin natin ngayon, mag-output tayo ng table dito sa browser natin. So, first example, gawin natin siya na walang uh, template literals para makita natin yung pagkakaiba. And then, our second example, we will use the template literals method. Alright, so let's try declaring our variables. I'm just gonna use the let keyword here. So, let. Let's try to output some uh, student information to the browser. And we will put it in a table. Okay? So, we have what? Student ID. Student name. What else we have for students? Course. Oops. Grade. Marks. Right? So, like get a value. Student ID. Let's just make it a string. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Student name equals... No, I def. You can put whatever you want. Course equals web developer. Okay. Then we will make a grade equals what? 75. <laughs> and let's just make our remarks empty here. Alright, so let's still use a res variable here. We will define our table. Res equals, in order to output some HTML elements to our browser, we'll be using some of the string concatenation that we'll learn above. Alright, so let's try with table. Ganyan. And then usually, ginagawa ko, kinuclose ko na agad yung tags na to sa baba. So, gumagawa ko agad ng ganito. Closing tag, oops. Indent lang natin. And in order to concatenate these two, alam na natin yun, di ba? Plus lang, ganyan. So, mayroon na tayong table. In between here, we will make our first row for our heading. So, to do that, we will use TR, right? And after that, i-close ko agad siya. Purpose kasi niyan, para di mo na siyang malimutan i-close later. Okay? Then, add plus sign again. mag a din tayo ng plus dito. Okay? Kasi nga, para ma-join ma natin yung dalawang to. Okay? So, now we have first row for heading. We will add our heading in between. So, sa heading, di ba? Ganyan lang. TH. Oops. 
And after that, pihin lang natin. Para i-close natin siya. So here, for heading, we will put what? Uh, student ID. Okay. And then plus sign again. Copy lang natin yan for our student name. So just make it name for short. Oops. Then we have course grade remarks. Okay. Grade remarks. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so mayroon na tayong heading dito. Ngayon, mag add naman tayo para sa data natin. So to do that, add lang tayo ng another TR again dito. Oops. Okay. Then, same process, plus sign. Then i-close lang natin siya dito agad. Okay. Oops. Plus sign again dito. In between dito, maglalagay tayo ngayon ng ano ba? TD, di ba? Para sa data natin. Okay. So, copy lang natin yan. Then, paste lang natin dito para ma-close lang natin siya. Ganyan. And in between dito, ilalagay natin dito yung variable natin. So, in order to do that, mag-add lang tayo ng plus sign and another plus sign. Okay. Sa gitna niyan, lagay natin yung student ID natin. Dito. Okay? So, plus sign na yun sa dulo. Copy lang natin to For our student name, course, grade, and remarks. Okay? Copy lang natin yan. Course dito. Grade. And remarks. Right now, we have our table here. I think kailangan natin mag-add ng semicolon dito. Kasi nga, nag-declare tayo ng variable dito, di ba? So, dapat may semicolon dyan. Okay, so kailangan natin siyang i-output sa browser natin. Balik lang tayo sa index.html. And then, maglalagay lang tayo ng div dito. Dito natin ilalagay yung table natin. So, to do that, hash key followed by the ID that you want for your div tag. So, let's say, for example, result. Press the tab key your keyboard. Now we have our div with a result ID here. Okay? So balik ulit sa main.js. Ngayon gagamit tayo ng DOM technique dito. Even though wala pa tayo sa DOM manipulation, but sa susunod mga videos, malalaman nyo rin yun. So try lang natin munang gamitin dito para ma-output lang natin yung table sa browser natin. Okay? So in order to do that, you just have to type document that get element by ID. And then yung ID ng div natin sa index.html, which is result right here. Copy ko na lang yan. Lagay na natin dito, result. And then that, inner HTML equals variable natin dito, which is res. Okay? Press control S on your keyboard. Now, you have your table right here. Okay? Tagalin lang natin itong console. Comment lang natin kasi naglalag din siya dito eh. Right, so na-output tayo yung table natin sa browser. Kaya lang pangit siyang tingnan. Kasi nga parang di siya table. Yung ibang text halos magkadikit lang. So, lagyan natin siya ng konting CSS. Balik lang tayo sa index.html. And then write below the title. Type ka lang dito, style. Press tab key, now we have our style tab. Inside here, pwede na tayong mag-type ng CSS natin. Okay, so since we will be doing some styles for our table, we'll just type here table. And then open brackets. So gusto kong i-maximize yung table dito hanggang sa pinaka-edge ng browser dito sa gilid. So to do that, type ka lang with colon. Then I will just use 100% here. You can also use 100px, 75px for pixels. But since gusto ko siyang i-maximize all throughout dito sa gilid, percent yung gagamitin ko. Okay? Now, lalagyan ko siya ng border. Do that. I will just add 1px border. 
and then I will make it solid. I will, I will make it color green. Okay. And after that, we will make styles for our TH, which is the header, and then our TD, which is our data. Okay. Since napansin nyo dito, magkadikit-dikit siya, gusto ko siyang i-align sa center para at least may space siya. So to do that, you can just type text, align, and you can just type center. Okay. And then I will also copy this one para may border din siya. Kasi pag di natin nilagyan dito, wala siyang border din. And then, just make a font size a little bit bigger. Ito, font size, 20 pixels. Okay. And then, I will change the font family to straight to home. Oops. Copy ko na lang to. Lagay natin dito, to home. Tagalin natin to. I think we have now our complete CSS. Press Ctrl S on our keyboard. Now we have our table right here. So, medyo presentable na siyang tignan. Nakasenter na lahat yung text niya. And then yung width niya, all throughout na sa edge ng browser. Okay? Now, let's go back to our main.js. So, if napansin nyo dito sa table na ginawa natin, guys, masyado siyang trabaho. So, kasi nga, maglalagay tayo ng quotes at the beginning and at the end. And after that, kung gusto nating mag-add ng another tag, maglalagay ka na naman ng plus and then another quotes and then all throughout to the bottom. Which is, for me, is not the best thing to do. So ngayon, dito na papasok yung tinatawag na template literals. Okay? Type lang tayo dito. With template literals. The same way, res equals, but instead of using code, I will just use backtext for now. Ganyan siya guys, backtext tawag dito. Avab sa tab key sa keyboard nyo. Makikita niya yung symbol na to. So backtext tawag dito. So gagawin ko, dito sa loob ng backtext na to, dito, dito kayo lalagay yung table na to. So di ko na kailangan i-type tong single quotes na to, di ko na kailangan i-type yung plus sign na to. Okay? So, gawin natin, type ka na lang diretso table. And then, your closing table tag. Ganyan lang. And then, inside, gawa ka ng usual mo na TR. And then, close mo na agad. Oops. Ganyan. Then, lagay tayo ng heading dito. I think, copy na lang natin to. Para hindi na tayo mahilapan. Tanggalin na lang natin yung mga quotes. Tanggalin natin yan. Tanggalin natin yan. So, copy ko lang to For student name What else? Course, grade And remarks Okay Copy lang natin yan Name and Then dito Course So, grade Ito Remarks Oops Ngayon, the same process, magdalagay naman tayo ng table data natin o yung TR natin. So, copy ko lang yan sa taas. Paste ko lang siya dito sa baba. Indent lang natin. And instead of TH, palitan natin siya ng TD. Ganyan lang. Burhe na lang natin yan. Copy na lang natin yan sa taas. Okay? So, may TD na tayo. Ngayon, maglalagay tayo ng variable, di ba? Gaya dito. Student ID. So, to do that, Type ka lang ng dollar sign and then open brackets and close brackets. And then yung variable natin sa loob. So ganito yung format kung template literals na yung gagamitin. Okay? So copy lang natin to for our student name. Uh, course, grade, and remarks. Okay? So palitan lang natin yan. Student name. Copy natin yung sa taas. Course. What else? Grade. And then yung remarks. Okay? Where's the closing tag of this TR? Ah, this one. Indent lang natin konti. Ito dapat dito yan. So, TR, 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 closing TR. Table, closing table. Alright. So, ngayon guys, tingnan yung difference. Napakalinis. Tingnan ito. Compare dito. Diba? Diba? 
So try nothing yung output sa browser natin. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now you have the same result right here. Okay? Why there's a big green? Oops! We need to close the table tag. Press Ctrl S. Okay? So the same result. Pero malinis na yung codes natin dito. Okay? Pwede rin tayo mag-output ng conditional statements dito or functions. So try natin mag-output ng remarks based sa grade niya. Kasi makikita nyo dito blanco yung remarks. So gawin tayo ng functions sa task. Try lang natin. Oops. Dito natin nila guy. So, function. Even though wala pa tayo sa function, pero sa mga susunod na episode, malalaman nyo lang yung paano siya gawin. Just to show you na pwede rin siya dito. Okay? So, function. Just say remarks. Like that. And then dito, so I think maglalagay tayo ng if statement dito. So, di pa rin natin na-discuss yan. Isabay ko na lang yan sa susunod na episode sa conditional statements. Okay? So, if say grade list done 75 and then we will return what? Fail. Right? Else We will return pass. Okay? Gawin lang natin capital to. Okay, so mayroon tayong remarks na function. Copy ko lang yan. And instead of remarks na variable here, lagay ko na lang yung function na remarks. Ganyan. Okay? So press control S on your keyboard. Oops. Remarks. Has already been declared. Oh, may remarks na tayo na variable. Sa taas, di ba? Gawin na lang natin remark yung function na to. Instead of remarks ito. Tagalin na natin yung S. So, remark na lang siya. Dito sa baba, gawin na natin remark. Press Ctrl S. Now, you have pass here. Since our grade here sa taas. Oops. Dala ba yan? Is 75. Ito. What if lagyan natin ng 74? Press Ctrl S. Now you can see here sa browser, nag-failed na siya. Let's try another one. 70. Same. Failed. 76. Okay. Pass. And that's how you output function in a template tutorials. But pwede ka mag-output kahit anong gusto mo dito. Basta make it sure na inside lang siya sa brackets na to. Okay? So I think that's all for now. So I hope guys, marami kayong natutunan sa episode na to. Gusto ko sanang idagdag yung conditional statements and loops dito. Kaya lang masyado nang mahaba yung video natin. Okay? So sa next video na lang natin siya i-discuss. Ang conditional statements and for loops. And maybe we can add the window object. So bye for now and please subscribe and share our lessons. Napakalaking tulong na yun para sa channel natin.